let's start with you with skills. Oh. Huh? Oh yeah, Claire, you should tell her what that's for. Yeah. It's me? No, it's for you, I think. <laughs> it's not it's not it's for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought it was me. <laughs> <laughs> you write here and clear that I understand by Akira. Akira and who is Akira? She's, my friend. she's your friend. Mm, she's your friend at school or at home? At school. At school. That's so nice. And who is this? Is it like a it's a monster? It's a mo piano monster? <laughs> no, just a monster. Okay, and here and this looks like a piano, right? And bench on the grass, very beautiful. And I see more colors here. Nice job, Sudi, excellent. Okay, let's review a little bit our skills. How far did we go with you? I mean, let's take a really good posture, like if you were riding a horse. So piano is our horse, right? And you are a rider. All right. So remind me where we stopped, which skill? Uh, we're doing, yeah, left hand. Uh, all, she learned up to B. Left hand up to B. Let's do left hand today, okay? And I'll watch your fingers. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't stretch your thumb here. Do you need your thumb right now if you're gonna play C? You don't. So, look, let's think of our fingers as a team. Do you play team sports? No, have you ever? Never? Okay, so, but you know they're like volleyball and basketball and soccer team, soccer team, right? So our fingers are team players. They need to support and back up each other. So if you play finger number five, all other fingers are trying to be supportive and stay next to you. If you stretch them out, it's like they are running all to different sides of the field, right? And this finger stays alone. So we shouldn't do that. Let's support our five. And we'll go to four, three, two.
let's first prepare our hands so it's not stretched and all fingers not running away from you but let's um let me get the pins let's hold the pins and see how our hand feels yes see to hear the straight line right you don't hold pencil like that do you like it, it's kind of weird right so let it feel this yes don't stretch honey don't stretch yeah so, wait, sorry. <laughs> prepare your finger number five your hand looks like that not like this and all fingers there we can even say they're like family they all take care of each other okay and number one is like maybe a mommy who always looking after her children right it doesn't want to look on the other side when children are playing here right it always look so I always noticed, let's say properly, when you play num uh, number one this time, you're kind of putting it like that, right? So what I'd like you to feel, we are gonna do a little bit, ex um, a little exercise with you. I want you to feel that number one is as supportive and can support the whole your body weight as other fingers. For example, let's play number three. And feel your weight, feel your weight in number three. Good job. Now, look, look what I do. I switch silently to one. And one continues holding my hand. Wait, it went like that right away, right? Let's, I'll help you at first. And then we'll try by yourself. Do you feel what part we play someone? Now, let's try by yourself like that. I'm just looking from this side. Great job. Keep, keep switching, keep switching. Nice, look at you. Perfect. So when you play scale, let's try now right here. Let's say A major. Let's do let's do this first. We find our thumb position and then we'll start playing scale. Mm -hmm. Relax. Oh, let's do a couple switches. Oh, now once more we found our um thumb position and from here we start playing scale thumb good five is mommy looking over her children no no no, no don't go this way Just continue until she feels really, really comfortable with all these. Yeah, even, even trying to get over that. Yes. Will be easier. All right, great, sweetie. Now, let's play your short pieces. I thought we could try today something because you have such a good memory. You play Fantasia, it's a long, long piece. And I think we can go with you a little bit ahead. So let's play with you. Oh, we started two new pieces last time, right? Okay. Have you tried those? No, we didn't get. We just learned the last line today of the aria, but she did fine with it. With her, and she did the whole piece uh, for the march. <clears throat> Which one would you like to start? Do you want me to choose? <laughs> yes. Let's start with march. Okay. Stirrups. Yes.
you did great everything was really good except i like this part and this part to be a little bit how to say a little bit more energetic like marching children are marching they don't go like dum, dum. right if you have all your friends and you start marching together you're going fits with supportive fingers like a team well, especially finger number five because it's so short it needs all the support today which sticker you're gonna pick today or you haven't decided yet a 17 
Okay, same scales, same scales, and just let's pay more attention to fifths and first fingers. Fingers. Do you remember the exercise I showed you for the thumb, how to find your thumb position? You play three and then just switch to find how your thumb holds the weight, right? And for the fifth, we want all the finger support and wrist support because it's the tiniest one. And we always take care of the tiniest ones, right? Like all your family is taking care of you, right? <laughs> okay. All right. And Aria, Aria, singing fingers, singing fingers. Great job, sweetie. All right. Did we play any etudes here? We played hopping, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Why we can't have us begin? Let's put it here right now, and we'll see. Maybe we'll take it. Excellent job! You are done with it! That's it! Good girl! You look unhappy! Do you want to keep playing it? <laughs> Clear. I think you are ready for next book. Um, can you play skating for me, please? What, 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 what do I see? Remember? Take pencils in your hands for a second. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try to remember about skating and especially here when you switch your hands, try to share so it doesn't sound like loud, soft, loud. They have to sound, they have to continue each other. Like if you were playing with one hand, look, that should sound like that. Let's try this. Sharing between hands. Like it? Get ready? Yes. Share, share. Wait, that disappeared. Listen carefully. It's ears jump. Okay.
Take me around. We are gonna challenge you a little bit because everything was so easy so far, right? Oh goodness, I don't even know know what to start with. How about Fantasia? <laughs> Are you scared? Because it looks so busy. I know you played harder pieces already. Scoot back a little bit, I'll play it for you. Scoot back on the bench so I don't hit you with my hands. Mm -hmm. now to connect again, yeah. to listen again and kind of listen to some other pieces and Fantasia it, it doesn't tell us anything right like what it is about but it's up to you to make it up because it's up to your fantasy you can make up what you want to play about okay so I'd like you to think about it as you play and maybe in, uh, write another title right here, what you are playing about, okay? Fantasia is kind of like a general name, like Sonatina, right? Or, or a dance, right? You know it's a dance, but we don't know what, it, how happy it is or how slow it is, right? It's the same Fantasia. So, looking at key signature, how many sharps we have? Mm -hmm. What scale that you know has two sharps? D what? D major, exactly. And these notes look like a scale, right? And these are skips. And I'm wondering, do you know how to read 16, how to play 16 notes, 16 notes? Good job. So we have two sixteens and eight. Two sixteens. Short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, 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 long. And it all combines in three, four time signatures. So we have three long quarter note beats. But first we'll play with you right here, maybe just this line. Right? The posture. Remember. If I play D major like that, with does it sound like D major? What is missing? The sharps. The sharps. So when you play this piece, remember every single sharp, okay? So what is the first note? Yes. Yes, very good. Yes, I think it will be 
wise to play for finger here and you need a sticky note with you mm, no my sticky notes here yellow or blue green or blue this one <laughs> okay, and then we start with fourth again and s skip and sing Clara, Clara, Clara. Yes, this one is a step, right? Let's try this right here and then once more. this melody to if you were a composer and you wanted to write it for different instruments and piano what do you think what instrument would sound the best for this melody exactly what about left hand let's try left hand and see what instrument we can assign it to okay we always think kind of from composer's point of view you know when Telemann lived there were no pianos yet. So those composers were thinking different instruments. There were instruments similar to piano, but they didn't sound quite as pianos. You know how they're called? Instruments that were before, they were clavichords and harpsichords. And maybe Daddy can show you at home some YouTube videos with clavichords and harpsichords, and you can hear and compare the sounds. Because yes, Sometimes we play, like we have the that Yamaha um, sound uh -huh, camera, uh -huh. so it has different uh -huh. sounds. And she likes to you play. can experiment a little bit. Yes, and you actually can try violin sound, and then we'll decide what instrument this will be, okay? Let's try. Stirrups. Mm -hmm. Good. So we'll start with this note. Hold yourself. Yes. Okay. So these both are interval octaves. Yes, so let's try from here. Two octave, two. Two. So the only difference between these two lines is this last note. Do you see the difference? This is C sharp and this is D. That's it. <coughs> Excuse me. So what instrument do you think you would like to assign it? So let's pretend you are playing cello here, and I'll play violin, I'll even play octave higher. Let's 
try to outplay left hand, you can scoot to the right and play octave higher so it really sounds like violin and I'll play cello and I'll even double my bass so we can hear it really well. Ready? And section it's so much fun because both hands playing very similar group similar groups Excellent. 